it's nine o'clock what is up my room is like really disgusting right now i'm cleaning it i'm doing laundry i'll show you but don't laugh don't make fun of me yeah it's pretty intense pretty intense especially over here and like on my floor and like on my cabinet shelving space like my room is a mess um and i don't care because i'm dealing with student loans and i'm trying to graduate and it's like getting to me and i'm like getting stressed out but i have a youtube channel so it's like why go to therapy when i can go to 22,000 people and talk about my issues. I would rather talk to you guys than talk to someone I have to pay, okay? Let's get that straight out of the bag, out the box, secrets out, cats out of the bag, whatever. Um, yeah, I thought I would just do some makeup, quick makeup look, um, do my hair, and then I have work tomorrow, but I don't give a fuck because I'm awake, so... We're gonna stay up and we're... <sighs> we're gonna stay up and we're going to uh clean up my motherfucking closet, bitch. Because even though, listen, hang on, because I need to know like the month. Um, so basically, right? I'm trying to get this straight. Um, I I work at a fucking preschool, right? I don't know why, you know, a lot of kids, I like working with children, but I don't really like working at a preschool, I don't know. Anyways, I only have like two months left of work before my summer semester starts and I'm going to summer school because I took a semester off because I'm fucking procrastinating like my life, so I have to get back to that now. Anyways, I have like a lot of like shitty gross old lady clothes that I had to wear to the preschool because it's like conservative or whatever. And to this babysitting job that's like conservative or whatever. And it's hard because like they're like, oh, we don't want to introduce our kids to pop culture. And I'm like, oh, okay, just don't search me on the internet, I guess. Like, here's the thing. I'm really professional when it comes down to it. But like, I do have a personality, okay? So I am done with that in two months and I'm not going to work there again. <laughs> that creepy? Um, yeah, I'm gonna graduate and then probably go to grad school so I can actually get a fucking job because I'm a visual arts major, so I don't know what I thought the opportunities were for that, but it's not a lot. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're gonna go through my closet, get rid of some clothes that I'm probably never gonna fucking wear again because maybe they're too small, um, or they're just ugly, but I gained weight during quarantine because like that's just normal and like it's fine and i still like myself and i still have like interests and emotions and like thoughts it's so crazy right so i know you guys are probably looking at this and like you're thinking what is that it's a foot and i created it by myself this is a foot candle this went viral on tiktok it's really detailed like there's skin texture and like everything this is like a mold of my mom's foot and if you want to buy it it is on my etsy shop and you can buy it so <laughs> i did post like a shit ton of stuff on my etsy shop link in the description so if you want a foot candle or any other of my many magical candles you can even see like the toenails or only these two any other of my magical candles then go over to my etsy shop maybe buy a candle support my small business blah, 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 blah. and yeah without further ado i'm gonna do my fucking makeup look like a bad beach for you um i don't wear makeup so i'm actually using my mom's makeup because i don't own makeup and if i do i gave it to my mother or my friends because i don't wear makeup ever like ever but I want to like embody who I am fully so that means like no more clothes that I would wear to like a job I'm not going to have for the rest of my life and like you know if I want to wear makeup then I want to wear makeup blah 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 so yeah so that's what we're going to do so I'm going to do my makeup maybe do my hair and then we're going to go in here into my closet which is full of surprises like full filled to the brim you're going to be like what the fuck and I donate a lot it's really that crazy and um 
I don't know like what else we're gonna do maybe we'll like do like a sneaky drop at Goodwill and then I don't know if that's illegal and I don't I, and I'm like assuming that they would still take the clothes right like I think they would still take the clothes like there's nothing wrong with them I just like didn't wait until appropriate times I don't know what's gonna happen I guess you're just gonna have to find out so let me just do my makeup real quick okay bitch and then I'll get right back to it <laughs> I regret doing my makeup. I look like a clown. But I'm gonna go wash all of it off. Okay, so I took all of my makeup off because I'm crazy for even putting it on. Like, I don't know why I did that. I looked really crazy. This is from shaving my arms. Now, hopefully I look a little bit less crazy. Um, with like my three eyelashes left over from my extensions, which I stopped doing because they're so fucking expensive and I need to pay rent for an apartment, which we'll talk about another time. So I'm tired now and I'm a clown, I'm a buffoon and my comforter is in the dryer and it's still wet and I still have like so much bedding to wash and so much in my room to clean and blah, 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 blah. So, I'll just catch you when I catch you. I'm ready for bed, but my bedding is not. So, I'm like exhausted and my comforter, my sheets, my pillowcases are all in the dryer. They're not dry yet. I'm going to just sleep literally on my mattress topper and like... <laughs> And two quilts and I'm going to bed because I have to get up early tomorrow and I'm tired like I don't care like I'll go to bed right now like comfort is not a necessity for me so <sighs> good night and I will see you guys when it's when the sun is shining what's up you guys I have I went to bed okay so um it's the next day or whatever and I had work this morning and then I, after work, I have an internship um, today and that was like three to five, right? But listen, because I, did this like slant? Because I like messed up, right? So after work, I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the bank and deposit some money into my savings account and then I'm going to go home and that'll be that in time for my internship, right? wrong so I went to the bank and I deposited some money after I first went window shopping which is so stupid I'm so mad at myself because I spent $200 on one top um <laughs> so originally like I was picking out things and I was like oh my god this stuff is so cute this stuff is so cute and I kept like grabbing stuff and then the total was like $600 and she was like oh like I can give you discounts and she like was giving me so many discounts and I was like I'm sorry like I think I, I'm gonna only get one thing because like it's so expensive and my phone keeps like sorry this is like making me angry and she was like okay like no worries it was like really awkward right so anyways I did that and then um I ended up like trying things on and it took so long and I like was late to my internship so I had to like extend my hours and I like fucked myself right and so anyways I got out of like the store that I like spent all my money on which like I didn't I could not ha afford what I did but I did it anyways because I'm just like amazing right like so responsible 
So I get out of the store, I'm late for my internship and I go to my car and I got a parking ticket. I got a parking ticket because originally the meter was like 32 minutes and I was like, oh, that's perfect. I'm literally just depositing money and I'm going home. But because I went to the fucking store and tried on literally everything that they had, um, I got a parking ticket and I spent all my money on a shirt. But there's a happy ending. Don't you worry. This is the store I went to. It's a little boutique called Jolie Jordan. And I got, I'll show you what I got because it's kind of cute. And like, I'm not as mad at myself because like this top is so, so cute. But oh my God, it was so expensive. Like their stuff is really cute, but like really expensive. So I'm just hanging on. So let me show you what it looks like because it's gorgeous so it's like this gorgeous like silk material let me actually see if it's silk look oh look at the straps they're gold with pearls that's the strap anyways this shirt was 198 dollars um so i bought it anyways i actually really like the boutique i went to it was adorable and the staff were like so sweet like the woman who was working was actually like really really sweet and like wasn't mad at me like for like wasting her time essentially but i got this it's so gorgeous and it has like these little slits on the bottom of it and obviously like i'm never gonna wash this and i'm never gonna like damage it or do anything to compromise this shirt ever because it was all of the money i had and i got a speeding ticket for it it is the end of march it's basically spring and i feel like the season has made a positive shift in my emotions and my personality. I feel more alive. I feel more vibrant. I feel like the earth is waking up. <sighs> and um, I want to get rid of all of my winter clothes. I want to be like more fashion tuned. Like I'm literally wearing a shirt with a squirrel on it. Like that's not that cute. I don't feel that cute. I want to like feel cute. I want to feel cute every single day. Quarantine has really like psychologically messed with my head about my insecurities my self-confidence went down um i <laughs> i uh couldn't go to school like just so much happened and it was traumatic and we've come to a new normal i feel like but my new normal needs to be glamorous so i want to get rid of like all of my like nasty grandma sweaters like anything i wore in the winter i want to get rid of it and i want to just like fill my closet with things that like make me feel beautiful and that i love to wear and um that's that like i don't care like anymore like i feel like i care too much about like going into public and like if i look like you know no normal or whatever and like i don't care i want to like feel beautiful i want to look glamorous i want my outfits to be cute so um i'm gonna go through my closet and like pick everything out that is like winter based and i'm gonna like, donate it I'm gonna totally just donate the fuck out of it and if there's anything that's like really really cute that like I know I'm not gonna wear then I'll post on my Instagram so I'll do this like more than once like this video will not be the first and last time so if you guys um, want to keep your eyes out for my Instagram stories and like things that I post um here's my Instagram right here on me Emma Adler make sure to follow me and yeah let's begin shall we okay so behind me is my closet and then that like tiny little light you see is like a command strip light i got from the container store this is from a brand called me jean um and it's this like i've never i've never worn this before it's, it's just taking up room in my closet okay so i know that i said winter but i feel like i honestly just want to get rid of anything that like i know i'm not gonna wear i really just like this is not my style at all and i don't like the mustard yellow either so yeah i'm definitely gonna get rid of this because i just i'm not gonna wear it like i know i'm not gonna wear it this is from loft and it's just a wrap some of the stuff in my closet is definitely from my mom giving it to me because i would not wear a long sleeve light gray thin wrap like this so this is like a really long floral skirt and I like that it has a slit and that it has an elastic band but this has been in my closet since I was in high school and I didn't wear it then and I know I'm not gonna wear it now. This is a leather skirt. It's probably pleather. I've had this forever and I've literally never worn it so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. 
So those are like all of the clothes that I saw so far that I just absolutely know that I'm not going to wear and then I'll probably make another video like going really into depth about trying on like everything in my closet. But I think that that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And yeah, so if you guys want a little finger candle, go ahead, check out my Etsy. And this one smells delicious. It's like this spicy scent. It's like spicy chai latte scent. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.